Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing, Aries? This is Positive Thoughts of Energy. Welcome to my channel. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Whenever you come across my channel, I hope everyone is staying safe. How are you doing at the top of this day? It's 12 noon where I'm at. To all of my subscribers, thank you so much for your beautiful, beautiful energy. Thank you for your compliments. Thank you for your like and sharing my videos. That means a lot. That means that my video rotates. It gets out. Thank you so much to new viewers, cross watchers. Come on in. Take what resonates. Leave the rest for someone else and apply the gender roles, reverse the roles. How they fit in your life, okay? Because I don't know your life. You have to reverse the roles, how they fit in your life. So I'm doing something uh different it's almost it's like sip of the day like top of the day but it's sip of the day what are you drinking on what are you sipping on i'm sipping on juice okay some of you may be sipping on coffee tea soda whatever put in the comments you know why are you watching this okay or some of you may just not be <laughs> doing nothing but just looking but this is sip of the day okay instead of tip of the day this is sip of the day reading OK, where I'm taking two questions, um, uh, my most questions that I get a lot from people and I'm just taking two questions and um, it's not going to be a long reading Aries. OK, it, it may be at the top of nine to ten minutes. OK, uh, but we're going to see. Um, I am an intuitive reader, so um, I can't give you a yes and no. I intuitively read the cards and you can figure it out yourself as far as if it's a yes or no. Um, um, I can't predict the future. I only see and feel energy. OK, I can't predict your future. You have to go over to some beautiful uh, psychic readers. OK, on YouTube. Um, but um, so let's see what's going on. All right. All right, Aries. Let's see. Uh, so the f first question, Aries, is will I get back with my ex? Will I get back with my ex? Spirit, this is for Aries. Will Aries get back with his or her ex? Will Aries get back with his or her ex? This is, uh, I just picked two questions, but you can put in the comment, okay? What question that, you know, you would like to involved in the reading. Mind you, don't put anything in here real heavy, okay? Because that's that becomes a personal reading, okay? Just uh, pretty much, you know, uh, uh, keep it, you know, simple. All right, so let's see. Spirit will... Um, will I get my ex back? Will Aries get he or she ex back? Will Aries get he or she ex back? So I usually pull two cards, okay? All right, so, um, <laughs> well, Aries, this person that you're with, okay? Now, mind you that when I intuitively, when you ask, let me say this first before I keep going. When a person intuitively asks, will I get my ex back? Now, I don't condone the violence, the verbal abuse, the, the physical and all that. But if you feel as though that your person, you and your person just had a little falling out, you know, it wasn't a deal breaker, then OK, um, you know, but you make your own decisions. OK, well, the first card came out was this is your soulmate, Aries, this person that you're with is your soulmate. OK, this person that you have broken up with is your soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate, as you can see what the card says. OK, and I really feel like you all have a really beautiful connection. OK, uh, you have a beautiful connection. You both. This is how you both feel about each other. But um, so I really I really feel, you know, that as you can see, both of these people. OK. All right. You you very much if you see both of the both of the cards, the position, you, you know, you both are very attracted to each other. You both, are, you know, have romantic feelings with each other. But sometimes uh, a re separation, sometimes we have to separate ourselves and really see. Really see, um, you know, uh, what uh, what you want. OK. And in time apart, sometimes does 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 do good it do it do good for some people um it's just the other person you know just because they have such a type uh, uh bond it, it, your heart starts to ache but sometimes separation is good so that you know each other can respect each other when you come back together okay so for a lot of you will i get back with your ex will i get back with my ex this person is your soulmate and you both share romantic feelings with each other okay that's beautiful. OK, so your second question is, will for a lot of you ask, will love find me? 
Will love find me? You're asking, will love find me? <laughs> will love find Aries? Okay, will love find Aries? Beautiful, beautiful. All right, spirit. Will love find Aries? Will love, okay. Will love find Aries? One more card. Okay, thank you, spirit. Okay, Aries, the first card that came out, if a lot of you want to know, will love find me? It says, love yourself first. Aries, love yourself first. I know some of you don't want to hear that. Wait a minute, let me set my, my juice. Uh, okay, okay. But, hey, you need to love yourself first. It says, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. OK, you have to love yourself first. People just don't realize that. I really feel as though a lot of people think, well, if I dress up the outside, I put on clothes, I'm putting on my cologne, my clothes on my belt, matching my my watch and all this. And she's putting on her clothes, you know, and her in her shoes and pocketbook and earrings all matched together. And she got her shades on. She chilling. She, they, that's a person. People think that's loving yourself. No. That's not loving yourself. You just love what you're wearing. You just you in, you you a lot of a lot of people are more into the outward appearance instead of healing the internal. OK, loving yourself is loving the internal you. Things that you need to heal from things that you, you know, so that you can love the next person healthy. So that you can be loved healthy because when you're healthy, you attract healthiness. And when you add a certain vibration, that's what you're going to attract. So for some of you, you need to love yourself first. Spirit is saying the second card is you need to make the effort. <laughs> some of you talking about what love find me. Spirit is saying you need to get up. OK, spirit says you need to get up. You need to you need to get up and make the effort. Don't sit and wait for love to find you. You need to get up. It says, guess great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. That means that you, you got to put yourself out there. You got to get up. Don't just wait for somebody. You get out there. If it's somebody you see that you like, you say, hey, how you doing? It doesn't hurt to say, hey, how you doing? I think I, I like that what you have on. And I, I, I like that. And that's a nice this. or that's a nice that. OK, you have to make the effort. Aries, you can't expect, you know, love ain't going to just come to your door and step on their door and say, knock, knock, knock. Oh, I was wondering, uh, are you ready to love? <laughs> it don't work like that. <laughs> it don't work like that. Ain't nobody going to come to your front door and say, uh, are you ready to love? No, they're not. You got to make the effort, too. You can't sit back and wait for somebody to do it for you. You're going to have to do it yourself. Okay? You're going to have to do it yourself. You're going to have to make it. You have to make the effort as well. If you see someone that you like, go for it. All right? And so it's, it's very clear that, um, you know, uh, for, for the first question, will I get my ex back? You know, you got to love yourself. I mean, well, the other one was, will I get my ex back? You know, that is your soulmate. But the second card is, will love find me? That means that you have to love yourself first. Love yourself first and make the effort. Some of you need to do this. It's, it's very, very important that you love yourself first so that you can attract you can attract that person into your life. Uh, you have to make the effort. OK, uh, some of you, you can't be lazy if you really want love. If you are really ready to love again, you have to get up off your butt talks, your butt talks and you got to go and make it happen. OK, that means that, you know. Uh, start. I know we all been on lockdown and everything, but, you know, you can get you can get on different sites. I don't really I don't really um, I don't really suggest the sites, but hey, we have no choice because of what's going on right now. But, um, you know, if someone's attracted to you and they're in your DM. Um, hey, if you're attracted to them, give them your number. Talk a conversation. OK, but most of all, love yourself. Because that's it. I'm going to tell you something. When you love yourself, that is the most attractive thing that you could ever do. Because you have you walk in confidence. Your energy level is where it's at. And you are not going to settle for any low vi vibration person coming towards you. 
So this has been your sip of the day reading. I love you all. Have a beautiful day.